Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing, guess what? Today we're gonna be doing a Mountain Dew soap. If y'all know me at all, you know I love my Mountain Dew. So, yeah. Came across this fragrance and I was like, gotta do it, gotta do it. It's gonna be fun. All right, so with this mix, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split off. I'm going to do it a lot like the mechanic soap. I'm going to split off a little bit of the batter and have an accent color in it. I'm using this really cool mica. It's so bright. It's, it's a neon yellow green color that is perfect for Mountain Dew. And then I'm also using this neon green. So, yeah, it's really hard to pick up on camera. There we go. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do a lot like the mechanic soap. I'm going to pour off a good portion of the accent color and do like a four position um, drop swirl or in the pot swirl. And then pour everything in the mold together and just see, you know, see what kind of swirls we get. Okay, I'm going to pour my lye water solution into my oils and then we'll get started blending. Okay, I'm going to stick blend this up just past emulsion and then I'll pour off the accent color. Well, that took forever. <laughs> it definitely took a while to blend. My oils are really, really cool right now. As I mentioned before, I like to soap at room temperature, which in our house is like a meat locker. <laughs> Not quite, but we keep it pretty cool in here. So I think uh, my oils and lye were probably around 75, 76 degrees, which, you know, for a lot of people that's too cool to soak, but for me, I like it. It gives me plenty of time to work with my batter. Seems like the higher you have your temps, the less time you have to work. Um, so I like to keep my temps low, keeps everything cool, no chance of, you know, soap volcano or anything like that. But it just takes a lot longer <laughs> to come to trace, so, or to an emulsion in this case. All right, I'm gonna split off some of the accent color. I'm gonna use quite a bit of this. Because I want to have two distinct colors, but you know I want the main, the main batter to be the, the one that stands out the most, if you will. Gonna add a little bit more in here, but I do want a pretty decent amount, not equal, but I want a pretty good amount of this accent color. So we'll have a little bit of variation there. Mama, this stuff is bright. Is that my? No, this is mine. Okay. Yep. See, almost did it again. I've done that once before. Oh, look at the poof. Oh, that's great. Hi, poof. Wear a mask, people. Wear a mask. Always. Okay, so that was our very very vibrant let me scooch you over because i'm out of frame again that is the very vibrant mountain dew like color i know it looks yellow on camera but once it gets blended in it is pretty accurate with the color all right that should be about good for that one 
Okay, let's get the fragrance in. Pretty sure we're good on this, and it's not going to do anything funky on us. Man, oh man. All that stuff flying around. Just going to stir this in by hand. this color so pretty green is my favorite color you guys see that it looks a lot more dull on camera this is like super super bright it's electric boogie woogie woogie Bet y'all are just loving all these free concerts I'm giving out, right? <laughs> Woo! Don't need to start a Patreon. <laughs> Support my non-existent singing career. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. Okay. Let's get this bright one blended up. Oh, I'm so excited for this soap, y'all. Mountain Dew is my absolute most favorite soda ever, 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 ever. Peach Knee High, close second. This is my favorite. So when I saw a chance to do this soap, I was like, dude, I'm jumping on that train. Like, no questions. All right, I'm going to turn the blender on. Gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna stick blend this one just a tad. Oh, I hear my munchkin. Mini man, mini man. Our little Houdini has escaped from the uh, outside enclosure again this morning or this afternoon. Huskies are notorious for being escape artists. And this one definitely is. Okay, so actually let me stir this yellow one over here first. Make sure we have all that uncolored soap batter off the edges. Get everything mixed in. Oh man, this color is so gorgeous. Love, love, love. And this fragrance smells just like Mountain Dew. I'm not sure how it's going to act, um, you know, after it saponifies, after it mixes with the lye and everything. Uh, I'm not sure how much of the fragrance will come through. I've heard it's a pretty strong fragrance still. So, I'm hoping that this is going to stay true and stay strong in the soap after curing. We shall see, but I'm super excited about this one. This is just like one of those novelty things, <laughs> but this is the, this is the first soap in our July line. The collection this month is going to be drinks, or maybe I should 
do like Alice in Wonderland and say, drink me. So July will be our drink me month. So can you guys guess what all that would entail? Drinks, did you say drinks? All cartoons these days. <laughs> You're right. So yes, we're gonna be doing drinks this month. All right, we have these blended up. I'm going to try to scooch this stuff out of the way. I'm gonna bring our mold, Big Bertha. We're gonna bring her over here. Go ahead and get her right there. And then I'm just going to, let me see if I can get, there we go. I'm gonna pour some there, some there, 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 kind of all around in there. And then we're saving some for the top. Not much, but a little bit. I'll tell you what, this little monster is making a ton of noise right now. All right, let's pour this in the mold. Hopefully it's not too runny uh, and it won't get mottled together or muddled. Hopefully they'll stay kind of separate. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Mountain Dew soap, y'all. Do the do, get vertical with do. Oh, I think those were the perfect colors. That looks so cool. Sorry, I know I've got the bucket in y'all's face. <laughs> Trying to do my little scraping. This may actually be too runny, you know. May have to let this one sit for a minute or two before I do the do the top. so pretty like I'm already ecstatic about this one just seeing how it looks in the mold right now wow I think they I got these colors pretty spot on and before I get asked no I did not use Mountain Dew actual Mountain Dew in this soap I wanted to However, I haven't tested that. I haven't done a test bash yet. And I was a little worried because number one, I'm gonna have to list all of the ingredients. Um, not only the ingredients of my soap, but I'm gonna have to list all the ingredients that are in the Mountain Dew as well. Um, even though they won't be, you know, after they've reacted with the lye, they, just like the lye, will not remain after saponification. However, here in the U.S., we must list, if we list any ingredients at all, with which soap you don't have to, but if we list any ingredients at all, we have to list them all. And it has to be what goes into the pot, not what comes out of the pot. So, that would make for a very, very long label. Let's see if I can move this without shaking it too much. Wow, yeah, that's super runny. Yeah, that'd make for a really long label. Um, which, you know, I may still do it. 
but one, I wanted to see how this fragrance was gonna act in, you know, just a normal soap. It, it said it would be okay anyway um, on the fragrance notes. But I also wanted to give myself enough time to do another, you know, do a test batch with actual Mountain Dew in it and see what's gonna happen with that because Mountain Dew contains a lot of sugar um, and sugar, while it gives soap bubbles, like it'll make it a, a lot of bubbles in soap, like it's really cool. Um, but it can also scorch and burn as well and can give a really off-putting smell. And that's if it's, you know, not properly, not properly mixed in, not properly done. Um, and with carbonated drinks, you have to boil them down or, you know, let them go flat that carbonation's not there. Um, otherwise you risk having like a soap volcano. <laughs> Bad things can happen, let's put it that way. So I wanted some time to test, but I did want to get this soap made initially um, for our July line. But we will see about doing the soap with the actual Mountain doing it later. If you guys would actually like to see that, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Would you be interested in seeing a Mountain Dew soap made with actual Mountain Dew? Just to, you know, be curious about the whole thing. If you want to see it, I'll do it. So leave me a comment down below. And if we have enough yeses, then I will test this out and I sure will make you guys a Mountain Dew soap with actual Mountain Dew in it because I think that would be awesome. I mean, I'd cry a little bit because you know, it's, it's Mountain Dew abuse. I'd be wasting my Mountain Dew and it's precious. But I think it'd be cool to do that. Like, I think it'd be cool as hell to have Mountain Dew in your soap. Like, come on, that's cool, right? Just me? Okay. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, this is super runny. I'm glad it stayed fluid that long, though. It behaved really nicely. I don't know if I really want to do anything with this top, though, dude. Ay, ay, ay. Let's see. We'll do a little something, something. Oh yeah, that looks cool, right? That looks cool. Yeah, I'm not gonna touch it. I'm leaving it just like that. I love it. And I'm actually gonna not going to clean the edges of the mold up right now. Just gonna let it set up and I will bevel those off tomorrow when I unmold. Ooh, very carefully. I'm going to pick this up and show you guys. Ooh. And this is the Mountain Dew soap. that was scary all right i'll see you guys back for the cutting video bye hey guys hello welcome back to my channel today we're here to cut the mountain dew soap i wish you guys could see how vibrant this is like it looks so much more vibrant in person the camera is just not picking up how bright this stuff is all right we're gonna get this cut up and see what kind of cool swirls we have on the inside now, I've been wanting to make this so for quite a while Oh man, yeah, that looks cool. Look how bright.
Wow, yeah, this stuff is like glowing. It is neon. <laughs> That's so freaking cool. Like, I'm ecstatic about this one. Oh, and it smells just like Mountain Dew. It smells carbonated, sweet. You can definitely get that lime smell in there. Ah. Oh. Yeah, this is beautiful, y'all. That fragrance came through amazingly well. I was hoping it would. The scent note said strong scent retention, so yay. And I think it worked out perfectly. What do you guys think? So do you think we should do more drink scents? Let me know in the comments down below if you think we should do more drinks soaps. Um, so I'm actually going to, I told you guys in the, in the making video that I have planned to actually use Mountain Dew in this soap. And so I am going to make a test batch. Not sure when I can get around to it. I have a lot of things going on right now. Um, but I am going to run a test batch with actual Mountain Dew in it. And I will post that sometime as soon as it happens. Um. But I'll post that for you guys so you can see, you know, how well that works out. And from there, we will explore other avenues. I have soap with beer, goat's milk. And I did a red wine soap before, but it was just a red wine fragrance uh, in which the company doesn't carry it anymore. Um, I mean, there are several others, but just not that one in particular. Um, but I actually do want to soap with wine. I have a couple of bottles um, of Moscato that, you know, I'll open it and, um, hang on one second. Filming. What's up? Hello? Hey, I'm filming. What are you doing? All right, well, I'm, I'm in the middle of filming, so let me let you go. Okay, hello. <laughs> Tell everybody hi. Hello. All right, love you. I love you. Love you, boo. Bye. Bye. Okay, we are back. Sorry, that was my daughter calling. <laughs> she just got off work, and we had a little phone convo. She said to tell you guys hi. So Tootie Bell says hello everyone. Yeah, so I have a couple of bottles of Rose Moscato, or it's Rose, um, that we will get from time to time if we have steaks or something like that, which is not very often. Um, and I'll get me a bottle of wine because I love how that Rose tastes with the steak. So anyway, um, I, I'll drink one glass with, you know, supper and then won't touch it again. And rosé, at least the kind that I get, um, is carbonated a little, it, very little, but it is. Um, and so it loses the, what little carbonation it has very, very quickly. And um, I thought, you know, that would be the perfect one because I've got, I think, three bottles and I'm gonna tell y'all this is cheap stuff now this is not the this is not the frou-frou the, this is the cheap stuff cuz cuz I'm cheap <laughs> like for real I try to be super frugal y'all um, but anyway 
so I had planned to actually use that uh, wine just so it wouldn't be sitting in my fridge mainly and I didn't want to pour it down the drain and I was like well I'll just you know I'll soap with it so whenever I get around to um, let me move these sample bars out of the way so whenever I get around to doing that um, I'll do the Mountain Dew soap as well uh, with the actual Mountain Dew in it and I thought about doing like a Dr. Pepper um, you know, like a knee-high peach, um, and all that stuff. So you guys just let me know in the comments if you think those would be, you know, if you'd be interested on in seeing how that's done or interested in seeing how that's done. Um, and all the, you know, extra steps we have to go through when using, subbing another liquid for our water. Um, even as far as, you know, goat's milk and stuff like that, you, you have to, you can't just do it traditionally <clears throat> like you would normally mix your water and lye. There are several steps that you have to go through beforehand. And I was just curious if you guys would, you know, like to see that. See that whole process. Since I've been filming a lot more. Um, you know, when I first started out, it was on my iPhone. Ugh. And um, I think I was using iMovie. And then I went on to, um, we've had a GoPro for Jesus years and I never even thought about using that for my soaping videos. And one day I was like, Hey, you know what? Let me pick up this, let me use the GoPro. And, um, I did and I loved it. And the software was really great at first. I think it was like GoPro studio. It was really great at first, but then they kind of discontinued the, software updates on that it's not even available for download anymore um, not the full version software anyway you have to i think it comes with like a quick a quick movie or quick preview or something like that now um which you know if you're making long videos and stuff without it taking a whole bunch of content out it's just not really not really worth it for me uh to use that because my videos are very long um, and I have to do a lot of editing. So anyway, it would lock up the computer and the, the software would just, it would just randomly shut down, uh, close itself out, not save my progress. Sometimes it would corrupt my video files and I was just so done with it. So I started using a different program um, and love 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 it and uh so that's that's what i've been using and that's why i've done a lot more videos because it's been a lot more enjoyable for me um the software i'm using now i thought it was going to be a huge pain to learn something new because it looked like there were so many aspects well there are so many aspects uh to this new editing software but guys let me tell you it's amazing you can do all kinds of stuff i do not even use this software to a tenth of its potential i'm sure um great 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 software um if you're interested in what software hit me up ask me a question leave me a comment and i'll, I'll let you guys know you know in more detail about the software that i use if you're interested um you know i don't want to bore you with details if you're not so <laughs> let me know if that's something you want to hear about and then i'll explain it if you are um so anyway, yeah, I've been doing a lot more videos now, so it, it's, it's a lot easier for me to do the videos now than when I was having to use that other before. And so now every time I make soap, I'm just like, get the camera. And it's, you know, taking me uh, half a day to a day to make a video, depending on what all, what all else I have going on. If I can just get in there and sit in front of the computer and, and edit all day, um, I can have a video done in, you know, several hours. But, um, yeah, it's a lot easier now. So I can, you know, bring you guys more content, better content than I did before. Um, and so I would love to go through the whole process of doing you know, have videos of other things that we do as far as, you know, me making the sugar scrubs or the lotion or the lip balm, beard, like body butter. That, that would be a good one. I still haven't done that yet. Um, you know, anything else you guys would be interested in that we do, I, I think that'd be nice to, to have it on film. And so anyway, when I get around to doing more of those videos now, 
um, I'll actually do another wine soap and show you guys that whole process. Same with the Mountain Dew. Oh, I'm super worried about that because like not only is it carbonated and you have to boil all the carbonation out, you got to freeze it, you know, you got sugars in there, which sugars produce a lot of bubbles in soap, so it's awesome to use in soap. Um, but just the other ingredients it has in it, um, you know, it's got, this, it's got some citric acid in Mountain Dew, which is a good um, chelating agent. I cannot pronounce that word. I think it's like C-H-E-L... E-A-T-O-R, I'm probably so dumb right now for not knowing that, but anyway, I, I can't, just off the top of my head. I know what I'm trying to say, but I can't like get it out. So anyway, y'all pardon me, but yeah, so it, it, basically anti-soap scum, or it helps cut down on soap scum. Homemade soaps are notorious for um, a soap scum buildup, and it's basically just because it's oils and even though they are saponified and it's no longer oils and lye, it's salt. It's a salt solution, which is now soap. Um, but it does have a tendency to um, leave a lot of soap scum build up. Uh, and if you do not clean your tub a lot, I, I'm just saying, I know some people out there do not, um, you will have an excess or an overabundance of soap scum and just nasty like, I think it's like white, flaky. It's just mineral deposits that have been caught, I believe, or trapped in the, um, whatever. I don't know. It's scientific. I know what I'm saying. Anyway, <laughs> can't think. Today's been a long day already. Um, but yeah, so it's got, it's got citric acid in it. It has orange juice in it. So, you know, th there's just lots of factors in putting actual Mountain Dew in this soap and I'm, I'm kind of worried about it you know for those reasons um, and the sugars are probably going to turn the batter a completely different color the sugars could scorch and burn and turn like a brown color and smell kind of funky while the soap is curing but then you know of course the smell goes away but eh, you know so I'm not too sure about going through all that but if you guys want to see it I promise you I will do it I'll do the wine soap with wine in it. I'll do the Mountain Dew with Mountain Dew in it. And then we'll go through, you know, whatever you else you guys would like to see. Um, you know, other soda drinks, if you guys want to say that, like Grape Pop or Dr. Pepper, Peach Knee High, like anything like that. Just, just holler at me in the comments and let me know. All right, guys. Sorry for the rant again. No, I'm not. I'm just going to rant. You'll have to deal with it. <laughs> You're here. Might as well, right? So this is the Mountain Dew soap. This is going to be in our July line. It's the first soup. Yay. But if you guys like it, leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And click that notification bell so you'll receive notifications on my next upload. I thank you guys for joining me today. Bye.